Hey guys, so it is the beginning of June, so that means it is time for a May recap video. I had a pretty decent month. It went by pretty quickly and I am pretty shocked at how quick it went by, but it was a pretty decent month and I enjoyed it. So this is what's been going on with the life. <laughs> so nicer weather started happening and the cherry blossoms at High Park were starting to bloom and Francis and I tried to go and see them. We didn't see it at full peak. There were a ton of people and I knew that the park would just be that busy. And we just had a really nice walk in the park type of day. So it was super cute. Just, you know, staying active. You know, that's what we do. The next day after we went to High Park, I got to see John and Kim. John wanted Pico, his dog, to meet Kim's dog because Pico was kind of on his last leg and it's sad to say that he passed away this month. It was really sudden and it makes me really sad to think about. So RIP Pico, you were an amazing dog and I am so happy to have the chance to have met you. Also got to celebrate his 11th birthday last year. The obvious thing that I've been doing this month as well was doing a Hawaii prep. My trainer did a program suited for my Hawaii trip and what my body goals are for my Hawaii trip. So I've been working out, I've been having fun with it. There's obviously things that I can't stand about the gym sometimes, but you know, I just live with it and do my own thing when I'm at the gym. <laughs> I also filmed a bit with Nico because the gym that he trains his clients at was finally empty. I finally got to be on the turf area and you know, play around with the sleds and do all these circuit training stuff and it kills me, but it's a lot of fun. I tend to like this type of cardio rather than like actual steady state cardio. The only steady state cardio I really like is the Stairmaster, obviously. But other than that, I actually really enjoy having to do something different each time so I don't get bored. So nutrition wise, I've been pretty decent with my eating. I have been trying not to eat out as much as I could. I did end up doing a little bit of splurging here and there with eating. When it came to that, I would try to get something that was shareable or I would just try not to eat too much, I guess, or eat beforehand or, you know, try to not feel too, too hungry when I reach a restaurant. Even though I would splurge a little bit, I would always try to make sure to have my protein shakes and make sure I get back on track as soon as I can. Um, I also got to teach my best friend how to meal prep because, you know, she really wants to get into the nutrition side. I've been doing meal prepping for quite a bit of time. I'm pretty proud of it and I'm really happy I got to teach Abby how to meal prep or give her some tips that I've learned. I'm not an expert at all, but, you know, I feel like I have a good idea of how to meal prep properly. There were a couple of birthdays this month. Birthday season is back. So we got to celebrate Erica's birthday. What we did was we got together at a restaurant and we had dinner and then afterwards we played darts at a place called iDarts, which is super fun. Um, I played pool for the first time and I finally kind of like got the hang of it, but I didn't like obviously be good at it because I'm not good at pool. I'm not good at aiming well, but it was definitely a cool night. It was really nice to see everyone after their trip to the Dominican Republic. So everyone was nice and tan and it was really great seeing everyone. It was also Francis's friend Michael's birthday um, and we celebrated at a Japanese restaurant. It's very loud and it's a lot of fun. We did some sake bombs. We also gave Michael like the biggest, I think it's like a sake bomb. I forgot what it was, it was like a triple threat, but it was a lot of fun. We also went to Snakes and Lattes afterwards and a lot of them are drunk. They tend to get drunk really easily, but you know, it's all about the fun. And on top of that, I also celebrated another birthday. It's a old tenant of ours, her daughter, she was celebrating her 16th birthday at Mandarin. I love buffets, so <laughs> Mandarin was a huge treat. Buffets are really bad for you, but they're also really good for you. It's good for the soul. A movie this month that I got to see was Deadpool 2. I watched it with Francis, and right after we watched the movie, my friend was having her art put up at an art show, so I decided to check it out, and it was a lot of fun. I just got to see her work. I did a documentary recently on her. I haven't gotten around to editing it, but just know it'll be out, and I'll let you guys know when that's out. It was really good seeing that. It was really good seeing her. So yeah, I low-key started school again. 
what? I am doing some online schooling. I am getting some more credits from high school. I heard about this program from one of my best friends and basically I could take some high school courses that I didn't have the chance to take in high school. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing grade 11 biology and I'm doing grade 12 kinesiology. That's pretty exciting. Um, We'll see where that takes me. And I think the last thing I will mention is I got to see Kaylee and Kristen. They were in Scarborough for a day and they wanted to go to the zoo. I was super excited when they told me about this because I was down to reach since, you know, the zoo was literally a bus ride away from me. I love their presence. They make me very happy. So we had a really fun day at the zoo and it was great filled with laughs and it was so good seeing Kaylee especially because she lives far off. Kristen too because they live so far. A lot of my college friends live in the west so I don't get to see them often and whenever I get the chance to see them I will definitely see them. Anyways I hope you guys had a good month of May. I know that I did so yeah I'll talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you guys soon because I'm coming out with a video soon. So yeah thanks for watching. Bye!